How the devil are we, boys and girls? Welcome back to another video of me, Kerbets UK, and today we're going to a place in Ramsbottom called Peel Tower. It was opened in 1852, September 1852, actually. Um, the reason I got to go and have a look inside and go to the very, very top was thanks to someone called Phil Mike Zero Kilo Papa Hotel. That's his radio call sign. He um, he's a member of Radars. Uh, which is the Rochdale and District Amateur Radio Society. Uh, now that little red pin's where we're going. There's some little preview pictures there which kind of ruin the video, but never mind. We'll zoom in now and I'll show you exactly where we're going to be kicking the video off, which is just there. Now I'm going to change now. Well, yeah, look at these two wallies there. Come on, get out of the way, out of the way. Anyway, I've sped this up because it, it, was, it takes a long time to drive to the top. Well, it, takes, it takes about 10, 15 minutes, but uh, let's get back into this. Welcome back to another video of me, Curvex UK, and today I'm up in Ramsbottom, and I'm going to see Peel Tower. The person who's brought me is called Phil Mike Zero Kilo Papa Hotel. I'll put a link in the description for you to go and check him out. Just gonna drop my tripod, but uh, let's go inside. So when you first go inside, obviously on your right hand side, there's a bit of information about Sir Robert Peel and about what he did in his early life, and on the other side, there's a little bit of information about the Peel Monument erection. Um, and obviously above you is that amazing staircase. I love the way it spirals, but it's a square spiral. Anyway, let's go. Let's start getting to the top now because it's a bit of a climb. Just come up the first first set of stairs, and you can already hear the wind racing through the uh, the stone and the building. This is the first floor. the view. Probably can't hear me because of how windy it is. I'll probably show you some shots now from round each side. And remember we're only first floor up here, look you can see Ramsbottom, you can see Berry, you can see the quarry. Now that hole there people think is from a bomb from World War 2 or World War 1 but it's not. It's, it's actually where they quarried the rock to build the tower. <laughs> and a lot of people think obviously that it's, it's, it's not. It's not from a bomb. Um, now back to getting to the top of this. Apparently some of the stairs, according to my guide Phil, um, were a bit, well, were a bit redundant and they started to, well not fall, but they break breaking, collapsing a little bit, so then they had to raise money to rebuild the stairs that are in there now with this railing that you see. And when you get to the top, uh, it's quite a nice little, it's a, so it goes up in a square spiral, and as you get to the very top, it turns, there's a smaller set, like, set of stairs, which is um, circular spiral shape, so it's, it's odd. When you look at it from the very bottom, it's very peculiar. So, um, we've just got to this part here, which is the spiral staircase. And if you can hear me over the two motorbikes outside, we're roughly around 90 to 100 foot in the, well, off the, off the top of the hill. So, we're going to give this uh, spiral staircase a crack now anyway. And remember, if you like what you see, why not hit subscribe? So this door that you can see me pulling on here is the hardest door to open in the world. Now, once you do get through that door, look at the views, obviously minus my camera strap being blown around in the wind. Um, but look, again, there's, I think that's Berry or Green Mount. I think no, it's Green Mount. It's got to be Green Mount, that. And then on the top of the, the actual tower, there is this, like, um, I think it was, I think it's modern, but it's been put on the top, and it's like a circular disc shape. Uh, it should be coming up in a few seconds, if I can ramble on enough to get to it. Um, here it is. Cracking shot by me, of course. But yeah, this is the Peel Monument table. 
and basically there's loads of different places on it and it tells you the distance of how far away they are from Peel Tower because it was a like also a, like a watchtower as well I think don't quote me on that but I do think it was so there's all these places with the like the distance in I think it's miles or kilometers yeah, kilometers yeah it tells you exactly how far away it is and I think I'm going to show you a clip now so I'll shut up talking Very, very, very windy, um, and I'll probably, have, I'll probably have had to voice over a lot of this video. But thanks to Phil Mike Zero Kilo Papa Hotel, which is his radio call sign. This is Phil here. Hello. I was say, thanks for bringing us up here, Paul. Yeah, I would shake your hand, but it's the left hand. It's not be rude. Um, but yes, yeah, so the, the reason we got to the top of Peel Tower is thanks to Radars at Rochdale and District Amateur Radio Society. Let's start the journey back down. Now, going back down is a lot easier than going up. I can tell you that. Now, if you didn't see in the last clip, I probably had a bit of sweat on my head because going up that many stairs and being a bit of a bulky unit is a bit of a task. But we still we did it because we wanted to show we wanted to show you one of the places that we used to go as a child. Uh, not a child, but I mean about between the ages of 13 to like 18. I used to spend a lot of time up there because it's quite nice as well, especially like going up for walks and stuff with your friends and stuff. Um, again, thanks to Phil for taking us in. He didn't have to, but I appreciate him taking us in. Go and check him out on Twitter. Just either have a look at Radars or type in Phil M0KPH. Um... Trying to think really what, what what other things I need to say about this place apart from well it says it all the video doesn't it I mean it's it's, it's amazing how it stood there for literally nearly 160 70 years and it's only had minor sort of preservation work done to it once we do get back down to ground level um, me and Phil jump in the little 4x4 and we go down a different way to the way we came up it was a lot smoother and it was more of a gravelly type road I'll put the clips in at the end if you want to have a look at them um, but I just want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye